this, that was one of the songs <clears throat> that made me want to learn to play guitar. Oh, I see. But I never did learn to play guitar. <laughs> you never did. I never did. How are you? Very well, very well, thank you. You all excited about, uh, I guess the first date is... Uh, 23rd, uh, we'll give it a I, I, have, I have them you all here in my the pants. Pocket, right. uh, all excited about it? Yeah, it's great. We're actually in mid-flight now. We're halfway yeah. through a tour. We just finished 80, 82 shows. So ridiculous. Uh, well, yeah. um, but I had a nice Christmas off and uh, fresh and ready to go. Yeah, we're having a great time on the road. So, so what is the most important, what's the most important uh, release for you now? Um, like Black Moon, which has been out for how long? Uh, Black Moon's been out, I think, three or four months now. Okay, so and that we, or this new collection? Well, we've just got a new a, a new live album about to come out. It's called Emerson Lake and Palmer Live at the Royal Albert Hall, mm -hmm. which is a um, very nice theatre, not a theatre, but it's a uh, hall in London mm -hmm. uh, that we did, did a show at, and it's a live recording, so we're pretty pleased with it. it so, so again, what would you consider the most important one for you now? I mean, again, this the, the, the live thing isn't out quite yet, but given that you've still got some dates to do... Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean it, for us, it's a matter of playing... We, we play things from all of our records, from Pictures and Exhibition, Trilogy, Brain right. Salad Surgery. Uh -huh. So we like to play something from all the albums, and uh, of course it's nice to, for people to hear the new things, but also it's, it's nice to play some people songs that they've been part of their past or they've grown up with. And right. Very nice. Um, so so on, this, on this live uh, collection, are, are there new... Are people disappointed if you don't play old old things, the older stuff verbatim? It's um, well, I don't know, but they're, they're certainly very happy to hear the old the old songs played. And you always get somebody said, "Why didn't you play this? Or why didn't you play that?" You yeah. Know? But you can only do so much within within the, the period of a show. It. Right. Um, and what we try and do is rotate. Well, you know, we'll, this time now we come out in Canada, we'll change the show from last time. We'll add three or four songs, maybe change a couple. You know. Mm -hmm. So we try and keep it fluid all the time. It's also more interesting, right? Yeah, if, I mean, if you, if you, again, I'm saying this from a long-time fan, I guess I hadn't said that off the top. I'm a huge Emerson Lincoln Palmer fan, but I didn't want to let you know that right off the bat. I would think if I were, if I were in being older now, I can appreciate this, but if I were, a, if I were younger and, and you, you played Lucky Man and didn't play it verbatim, I'd be going, hmm. Yeah. Well, the things that we do from the past, we try and make a version that, we feel is contemporary. It's, it's got the spirit of the original record, right. but it's got a much, obviously, a better quality uh, sound to it. But just because now the Sonics technology and the uh, Sonic stuff we've got is is that much better, so uh, well, it's hard not to use it. If you know what I mean. Uh, initially, initially, when you came out with this a while ago, what? Um did you have any initial fears, uh, fears, apprehensions? I mean, it had been a while since you guys had had mm. an album together. Mm. How many years in all? 14, 15? Oh, yeah. Something yeah, like time. that. Mm. Um, was there a lot of pressure on you? I mean, no. you've been there so many times before, but... I mean, it's actually, our coming together started out as a film score. We were, we were invited to do a film score for JVC, you know, the television uh, people. Right. And we agreed to do it, and it, it was... During the, the rehearsing of this film music, in fact, instead of doing film music, we started writing Just all these songs. Off. So after three or four weeks, what we had is a lot of uh, album material. And so the album really was sort of half made before we'd ever thought of doing it. Yeah. So it's a pretty natural and off-the-cuff record in a way. Right. And it's more like the original albums of ELP. Yeah. Did you actually finish your work for JVC, though? We never did. <laughs> we yeah. never did. We, we, you know, they, they said, well, look, you know, if you're... If you, writing an album then finish the album and of course as soon as that was done yeah. it was well you know yeah. perhaps you'd like to go out and play it and so we said yeah we, sure. we started the first 20 shows and now we're now we're up to 140. Nine. that's ridiculous yeah. that really is that's ridiculous. great and it's, it's it's lovely to be loved you know I mean, yeah what can i say uh was the chemistry the same in this is going to sound like a cliche question but i, I don't know uh, you would know what it was that you guys recorded like. I mean, you, mm. you write most of the lyrics, but when it comes down to instrumental pieces, which you guys are, are infamous for, is the, was the chemistry the same when you were doing an instrumental piece? Well, the, the chemistry of ELP is something, and I, so I'm sure it's the same with any of, any of the bands. It, it, it is a matter of the personalities mm -hmm. in the band. I mean, we're pretty intense people and we get very tense about things, you know. I listen and I get so, tense. Yeah, that's right. I, I so you can see that's what it is. And, yeah. um, so that is really the chemistry of the band, and we don't have a formula. I mean, it's just the three of us, and it just seems to work in a strange way. Yeah. Where, uh, I mean, some while ago we did a, an album where Carl wasn't involved. We had Cozy Powell in, and he played. And it was a great album, but there's some, something special about Emerson, Lake and Palmer, the chemistry of the personalities. Yeah. It's just a special energy and effervescence that is sure. there. Um, 
the, the gig that you guys did at the Big O, the, the Montreal Olympic Stadium, mm. uh, can I ask if that's one of your most memorable shows that you've ever done? Oh, yeah, undoubtedly it would be. It, it's, it's probably the greatest stadium in the world. Yeah. And just for us, it's it, it, not only that show, but the whole thing in Montreal for years and years and years has been, you know, a lot of people that work with us come from there and we've, mm -hmm. we've put a lot of shows together there. The a lot of our connection. orchestral stuff was done there. I've lived there myself, uh, Have, you know. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, the whole band did. We were there for seven, the, eight months. Back in the old, what, Shom days? Was that yeah. one of things that dragged Yeah, you? yeah. No kidding. Yeah, it's great. I didn't know that. I grew up in Montreal. I didn't know you guys lived there. Yeah. Yeah. So we did. We spent a lot of time there. And uh, it's just, I suppose, really, again, the whole of Canada, you see, for us, has got a, it's, it's a European feeling to it. Mm. And so being across this side of the world, it's sort of a bit like home, you know, get that yeah. European feel. And it's, it's just nice. Uh, and is there any particular reason why you chose, you're supposed to say, because we really like it as well. Any particular reason you've chosen Edmonton to kick off the, uh, the, the North American thing here in Canada? N not really, it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> because we like <laughs> it. <laughs> Wrong answer, yeah. Uh, but um, I've actually never been there, so, so I'm looking forward to going there. But it, no, it was just the way, that the, the scheduling and the way that the... Uh, Things were going? Yeah. But we're going to a lot of places. Aren't Can we? I read some of them out? Tell me where we're going. I'm reading about you. Uh, you guys mark these down. Be there or be square. Uh, 13th of the Jubilee Odd in Edmonton. 14th of the Jubilee Odd in Calgary. By the way, it's the same auditorium. They just pick it up. They lift it up by helicopter. Is that right? They fly it to Calgary. That's big time. Yeah. That sounds So great. if you want to not move your equipment, you don't have to load out. No. You can just leave wow. it in there. Just strap it down and they'll fly it. Leave it in there. Yep. Um, on the 15th in Regina. 16th in Winnipeg. Uh, Thunder Bay you like. On the 18th. Uh, London on the 20th. In yeah. Ottawa on the 21st. Maybe the Prime Minister might even show up. Really? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a fan of yours. Yep. Yep. Uh, two dates in uh, Toronto, 22nd and 23rd at Massey Hall. And this is where I had to rip things over here. There's the big one. Théâtre Saint-Denis in Montreal on the 25th. Have you ever played at Théâtre Saint-Denis? No. It's nice. It's it lovely. It's absolutely beautiful theater. Look forward to that. Yeah, you'll love it. We uh, always have a good time there. And then in Quebec City on the 26th. So between now and then, what is uh, transpiring in your life? You guys just getting ready? We're back. I'm back to Los Angeles tomorrow. We do, you know, some of the pre-tour promotion and yep. everything there. And then we go to Edmonton to actually um, yeah, do the rehearsals right. and, start, and start the tour. Great. Okay. And off we go. All right. Um, what, guys, what are we playing here? Now, what are we going to play? Pardon? Black Moon. Black, oh, you want to talk about this? The Black Moon, is yes, it? Yes, yes. Oh, well, Black Moon was a track that um, I, I, I began to write when I, I was watching the Gulf War on the television, mm -hmm. of all things. And there was lots of it, wasn't there? And there was lots of it, and there was this picture of the desert burning. And I thought, how, you know, what an incredible thing to see. A, a, of all the things you would think you couldn't set light to would be a desert. Yeah, right. And, and there it was, burning, you know. And I thought, uh, and then I saw this picture of this smoke covering the sun. And Keith had written this, this very sort of austere and heavy music. And it just looked to me like a black moon. And, I, and I, I got this line, I think it was, we never learn, even deserts burn. Yeah. And all politicians lie. Yeah. They won't do nothing till we reach high noon, black moon, you know. Cool. It just fitted and that was it and we were off. And, uh, okay. so black moon. Okay, so you guys had the dates and I'll, uh, I'll pound in your heads about them even more between now and, and the 13th. Anyway, thank you. It's been a pleasure. pleasure. Very, very nice pleasure to meet you. you. And if you show up here, when you do, I'm yeah. eating part of your deli tray. <laughs> okay. Uh, Emerson Lake and Farmer. Bye much.